Well, in an announcement that rocked the movie theater industry, Warner Brothers announced it will release its entire slate of 2021 movies in theaters and on its streaming platform, HBO Max. So could this be the end for movie theaters? Brandon Simmons spoke to a local owner to get his take. It's a decision that could change the movie theater industry forever. 2021 movie releases from Warner Brothers will be available online and in theaters at the same time on day one. It's a strategy known as day and date release, taking business from already struggling theaters. Theaters are used to having this theatrical window, which is usually either 45 to sometimes 90 days. That's the time where movie theaters make the bulk of their money before films are available on the small screen. Gabriel Salwan owns Atlas Cinemas in Northeast Ohio and hopes the change isn't permanent. I think they made that decision simply because of uh, the backlog of content that they have and, and they have to release it. The pandemic has forced many theaters to reduce capacity or close altogether, leaving movie studios with no place to send content. It's that uncertainty that led to Warner Brothers' decision, offering the unique solution for one year. You're not going to make billions of dollars uh, on a movie showing it streaming. Uh, that's been proven. Those profits stemming from what many would say is the theater experience. I don't think anything's really going to ever replace that theatrical experience, to be honest. And so it appears studios are trying to be creative to maximize profits in 2021, another uncertain year. Salwan believes 2022 will be more like normal. We're trying to do everything to bridge ourselves to that point. Now, remember, Warner Brothers owns the HBO Max platform, so many say this is really just a way for them to increase their subscribers on a new product. But for now, at least, Laura, the big money for studios is still on the big screen. So hopefully these movie theaters will be able to make a comeback.